Dr. Nancy, your celebrity medical doctor, and this is Dr. Nancy Knows. This episode is brought to you by Sherry Ann Jacobs. He is in 25 years in software development, and listen, guys, we can be seen, Dr. Nancy Knows, on all social media platforms, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Venmeo, as well as drnancynose.com and starworldwidenetworks.com. Remember, it's not only what Dr. Nancy knows, but it's who she knows. Positive thoughts equal positive results. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I'd like to tell you about our next guest, Cherry Ann Jacobs. 25 years in software development and he's made his life works dedicated to improving and impacting the lives of many. And his story today is not going to disappoint. One of the things that he's most proud of, actually there's a couple, is that he actually translated the Bible into his native language. I'm going to let you, him tell you about it coming up. And also, he is the founder and CEO of Clifford. And if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. Care Genie is one of his latest technologies. It is voiced recognized artificial intelligence. I'd like to introduce you to Cherry Ann Jacobs. Cherry Ann, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you, Dr. Nancy, for having me today. It's such a pleasure. You know, we've only known each other for a very short time now, and um, social media, right, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, for everyone, is, you know, a powerful networking um, organization. And if you, if you don't have a profile, I recommend that you do, to connect with other entrepreneurs and business-like-minded individuals. And so when I read about what you're doing, I was instantly drawn to you. One of my many passions uh, is caring for the elderly. And when, when we spoke and you told me about your story about this past year with COVID and so many people dying and, and our elderly dying, you said, God gave you a gift. And if this gift that you were born with can save many lives, you wanna do that. Absolutely. So a powerful story. Yeah. Can you share please? Yeah. Um, uh, First of all, thank you for having me on this show. And this is uh, one of my first ever uh, experience. So I don't know whether I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, but uh, I, w I would say I would be genuine to you telling my story. So as Dr. Nancy said, and we all experienced last one year, more than one year, all over the per world, people suffered because of COVID and we have social distancing become the norm of the day. Everywhere socially distanced. But how are we connected? And uh, in in United States, more people died who were living in nursing homes than any other place. And uh, we thought we should do something on this and then we started developing the ideas and that's where the care genie came. And uh, how I can ensure that this works for the people? Uh, the story is my father-in-law, 97 years old right now, and he is living in India with a caregiver. So we had a hard time in contacting him, you know, to make sure that he is up and uh, to give him the information what he wanted. Um, so we thought, you know, if he could use a technology like Alexa or say Google Home, that will make life amazing for him. Earlier when- Google Home is usually defined as a house. Alexa, it's stop. I'm sorry, because she will wake up whenever she's, we say the name. So in uh, our communication changed drastically because earlier when we call him, he pick up the phone and he kept it, keep it there. And sometime if it is not in the correct position, we will get engaged and we will get worried. We need to reach out to the neighbors to get this. But right now, he can simply drop in and say, you know what, call Phoenix and it is over here. 
and our communication went drastically. So if I wanted to see that what's going on there, I can I can drop in there immediately talk to her talk to him like he don't need to pick up a you know phone or anything he just can start talking so this is where the beauty of we human beings are designed to have our voice and you know the the speaking and using your speaking your natural language processing that's we call it as nlp that's what is this technology using with artificial intelligence you will be able to communicate your system, your NLP engine in the back end which is working, which should translate into different actions. And these actions eventually, you know, get you to the things what you wanted, right? Well, how amazing, everyone, is this? Okay, so we have an, an, a technology software development specialist, many years, uh, for the love of his, of his father, and not being able to communicate as effectively uh, as he would want to. And in the midst of a crisis, a pandemic, he developed voice recognized software that not only is benefiting or going to benefit or has benefited his family, but it's gonna benefit so many other families. And, and as he said, it has drawn him and his father so much closer. They're so far away, but yet, just a voice activated communication away. Wonderful, wonderful yeah. technology. Yeah. And in the United States, I don't know the total this thing, but I'm seeing like, you know, people spend almost eight to ten billion dollars in compensation for people falling and not getting attention. And uh, you know, I was talking to different people and say how much time it takes for you to get some communication. So today if you fall you, you put some, you know, you press some buttons, then you get somebody, you know, some light will be there, and then maybe in 20 minutes you get an attention. But in the, our new world, we'll just say, Alexa, ask Air Genie to help me. Your request for immediate help has been sent. If this is a medical emergency, please call 911. So you can see that, you know, within 10 seconds, the information, what you are seeing on the background, it is the dashboard where in which your facility can see what is happening on the specific room because it is saying room number 403 there is an urgent help is required so you can just you know go ahead and help them well there's so there's two very important points here now i don't know about many of you all but i can tell you that my 74 year old mother uh, would not want to wear um, a piece of equipment if she's fallen, has to push or pull before you know help arrives. And as Sherry Ann has said, it takes time, and time is very valuable and precious. With this technology, voice recognition within 10 seconds, uh, help can be on the way because this technology is interfaced or can be interfaced with nursing homes, assisted living facilities, soon to be uh, connected individually, which that communication be, can go to their loved ones as well. So it's wonderful technology. Yeah, because what we saw is like, you know, I work in financial services. Today, if you look at how people are making, becoming rich, they know that, you know, you use the artificial intelligence to buy the stock, sell the stock, do all kinds of things, balancing. That's the way financial services, we do things. But when it came to the, uh, you know, the healthcare, it was surprising to me that we spent a lot of money, but some of these technologies are not getting in there the way the rest of the, you know, industry is use, doing it. So we thought it would be a good idea to start with. We can do anything. That's what I, I believe in and I am confident on. But at least we should start with something which can really help. Like, you know, these are, I would say, low-hanging fruits, right? Where in which we, we could, uh, you know, help these people, at least to get notified. And that makes a huge difference in people's life. Well, not only just impacting many lives, but also, you know, with 
the pandemic and a, a lot of lost revenues and income, how this particular type of technology can actually uh, improve on uh, outcomes and revenue and standards. This is HIPAA um, compliant software as well. And um, it also helps with your ratings. Can you elaborate? Yeah, you know, like if you every if you are an administrator or if you are running a nursing home, the long term care, you get most of your payment done. You know, you are getting from Medicare or Medicaid. So you end up if a person is unhappy, they will make a complaint, and then you you are you are worried when when an inspector coming and do a thing. You need to provide all the required documentation to prove that you did everything in your capacity, right? But today, those are not there. You need to rely on people's story. But right now, if you, as you are seeing, when someone says something, for example, I want water, let's how about with water, right? I ask for water, I'm dehydrated, I want to ask for water. This is the way they would say, Alexa, ask Air Genie, can I have some water? Okay, are you requesting for water? Yes. Are you John Doe? Yes. Your request for needs assistance from nursing assistant. Reason, water has been sent. If this is a medical emergency, please call 911. Talk so, to you soon. Goodbye from Care Genie. So this way, it went directly to the nursing assistant, not the nurse, right? Because today, if a light comes, we don't know what it is. So they will, okay, for what? The nursing assistant comes, then you know that this is not something I can address. Then they call the nurse, and then they really need to, that something else needs to happen. So you will be relaying the information. But here, you know that certain things which is happening in the facility, people are asking for water, it need to go to this person. If your people are asking for the medication, yeah, it need to go to a, a nurse, right? So that way, you save a lot of time in, you know. Yeah, time is money. Time uh, is money. Prioritizing time management, definitely that. Now also, the question is, can this technology be in, interfaced with wearables, like your Fitbit or your Apple phone? Of course. So let me, let me show you. I have a Fitbit, and I'm not a, not a guy who normally wear anything, but we were doing a Fitbit integration for Care Genie. Because what we saw is that if we can pull continuous data from any source available to a system and your caregivers can see this, this is what is happening. His pulse rate is going up or he is not walking as he promised, right? So we can see all this data. We thought it will be a good idea. That is the purpose. So it happens on the background. But if you have Alexa, Install on your, you know, Android phone. You are, you know, you know, not Android phone. I'm saying, Android watch or your, uh, you know, Apple watch or even a Fitbit, which is peanuts for, you know, your spending. You can have it and you can activate and say, Alexa, ask Care Genie to help me. So it already showed me the request is sent and it is showing that 404 urgent help is required. So even if you are outside or if you are wearing, you have a wearable, you will be able to do it. And the latest good thing is from Amazon is they have a frame. So if I have a frame, I can just say and then I can say what I want. Oh, it so can sunglass happen. frame. So anything, mm -hmm. anything which has Alexa on it, we can connect to it and you know, bring it. Well, I know as a business owner of a, a facility or an organization, they may say, well, then what types of EHRs can Care Genie potentially interface with? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, like, we don't want people to re enter the data if they have a source already. So, we had a conversation with the various, uh, you know, EHR solutions. And one of the things I just wanted to announce you right now. We have signed up a contract with the Point Click Care. That's one of the leading EHR solution in the long-term care and assisted facilities and for the home care sector. And we are working on the integration. 
So that integration will help you, like not only get you the data, you can do f back and forth, and we will be able to take the data based on your roles. For example, if you are a facility administrator, you may not be allowed as per HIPAA some data. But if you are a nurse, yes, you can take maybe something from your medicine cart and give something to the person. So we can completely control all the restrictions today apply in the, you know, say in the EHR will come into play so that we are not re-engineering anything, we are not manipulating anything, so you can trust that you will be in compliance. Like that's one of the major things for people. Well, compliance is a major deal. And remember, you've heard it first here. The CEO and founder of Cliffent, Cherish? Chariot. Chariot Jacob, Jacobs. And listen, this is new, innovative technology. And remember, it's not only what Dr. Nancy knows, but it's who she knows. Stay tuned for next week's episode. Thanks for sharing.